Today on Film 101, we are going to be building a product photo booth out of this $7.99 IKEA table. And it's going to be awesome and it's going to be fun. And stay tuned, guys. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Film 101, where we talk everything film, photography, and cinematography. I'm your host, Jason Dobson, and I might be going in and out of focus. That's because I'm literally just shooting with the camera over there. But anyways, we're going to be building a product photo booth with this $8 IKEA table and a few sheets of poster board. Um, so yeah, let's uh, hop over, and we're going to put it in uh, a time lapse and show you guys how to build one of these for about 10 bucks, so. So pretty much whenever you get this table, you're gonna have to make the bottom of this table white. So pretty much, I said two poster boards at first of white, but technically you're going to need three, one for the top and two for the sides. And we're gonna set the table up on top of it, draw it out, um, and then cut it out just so we can put it up on top of that table. And without having to cut out of the lines around the legs or anything like that pretty much just cut it to the size of the bottom of the table and I'll show you why right here we take the bottom of the table and we're gonna put two holes right where the other side of the screws are the screwdriver will pretty much rip out the paper so it'll make the holes flip it around put it on the two bolts that remained in the table whenever I had it make the last two holes and then put the legs back on and then boom pretty much the bottom of the table is going to be white and you don't have to worry about <clears throat> that brown wood creating any yellow coloring or anything like that whenever you take photos of products or anything like that. So pretty much put the legs back on and then uh, flip it over to one side, take another sheet of poster board laid out via the legs and <clears throat> mark the whole size. And you can use the top of the table as your straight line. So just turn the table over and then mark all the way across the back, cut out one sheet, and the good part is, is you don't actually have to use the table again to cut out the other wall. So pretty much you're just going to lay it on top of the third sheet of white poster board, line that up, draw it, <clears throat> draw the lines, and then cut the second sheet out. And that's one good part because you don't have to bring the table up again. And then pretty much tape one side on, and I, I, I'm kind of OCD with my tape, so I like to cut out... Uh, little strips of tape compared to just ripping, um, especially with a little project like this. Just cut out all the tape that you need and then just leave it at that. And line. you want to use the factory end of the uh, poster board on the ground compared to your cut end. Use the cut end on the top of the table and uh, pull it kind of tight whenever you tape it on. And just tape it on, flip it over, do the other side. And uh, I cut it a little long, but that's all right. It's going to work. Um, and you do have room to play with this. I mean, those legs are like an inch and a half. But anyways, then we're going to take the the color that I want to use, which is red. And I just marked it at about half an inch wide because that's how wide the legs are. And then I just cut off half an inch, just pretty much following cutting off half an inch. And then take it. I'm going to use the matte side compared to the shiny side. Push it up to create the curvature in the back. And then uh, push it up nice and tight. Get some tape. Tape it up into the top corners so you don't have to worry. And, and I'm using non-reflective photo tape. Then take your third last piece of tape, push it up for the curvature you want, tape it, and put your product in. And that's pretty much it, guys. And that's how you make a product photo booth out of a $7.99 IKEA table. And uh, the good part about this is, is if you already have lights, um, it works out great. It works out awesome. And something I haven't tried that maybe somebody else can try is using like a white fabric, like a cotton, a thin cotton sheet or anything like that to stretch across that to see if that changes the light at all. But compared to paying the $75, $80 for like a tabletop uh, product photo booth, um, you know, it saves a lot of money and uh, it works out just as well. And I'm going to be shooting a video on actually doing a little product photo booth um, shoot with it to show you kind of like the end result and going through the post processing and everything like that. But for 10 bucks, like you literally can't like beat that like at all. But other than that, guys, go down and click that like button. Please subscribe. We have some awesome news coming to those that have subscribed to the channel. Um, 
so far. And since we've like rebooted everything, please subscribe and we'll see you next time.